This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents... I'm your host, Thor. Where are my brown dwarfs? I'm talking about certain astronomical phenomena. This is a tough problem, so... All right, so let, me, let me get you up to date if I can. Okie dokie, Captain Busy. Looks like I'll get no rest to do human stuff. It is one busy weekend indeed. We have just had an M-Class flare. I believe it is a 5.9. And I need you to remember two things. One, we have lost a lot of function in data collection in the stereo satellites due to engineering mistakes and um, solar physics or heliophysics now being the redheaded stepchild who smoked cigarettes of NASA. I can never tell if it's earth facing or not. Oh yeah, second thing you need to remember is that I have said the entire time at Thor News, I think the M class, X class classification system is a gross oversimplification. And my theory was totally validated when NASA came out this year with an announcement that an M-class solar flare and an M-class solar flare from 2012 was more powerful than the Carrington event solar flare that set telephone poles on fire, right? So the close shave happened almost 2 years ago. On July 23, 2012, a plasma cloud or CME rocketed away from the sun as fast as 3000 kilometers per second more than four times faster than a typical eruption. The storm tore through Earth orbit, but fortunately, Earth wasn't there. Researchers have been analyzing the data ever since, and they have concluded that the storm was one of the strongest in recorded history. If it had hit Earth, we would still be picking up the pieces. Ooh, look, there's our lightsaber. We will either see weather continue to get weirder, or it'll stay the same weirdness. Or it'll calm down. I'm gonna go ahead and guess. Things are just gonna get weirder, bro. Strange days indeed. That was one crazy looking solar flare coronal mass ejection liftoff thingy. Remember, the reason I gave my weather warning four days ago was because I have been seeing an abnormal amount of solar satellite anomalies, lens flares, artifacts, swamp gas, and planetary boobies. All right, I don't even know what the planetary boobies thing meant. I was trying to be funny, and I forced it, and then I was unfunny, and I made people mad. Fun times. We'll keep our eyes and ears out to find out if this was a Earth-facing solar flare. So if it is, there's not really much we can do about it, you know what I'm saying? I got a question. If the sun is to the left of that planet, which I think is Mercury, why is there a shadow behind Mercury? I mean, is there like a flashlight on the stereo satellite that is so powerful that it creates like a Mercury shadow? Interesting, right? Okay.